T-Squad, I done messed around and spoke Korean Stefan up, child. That video I did two weeks ago, she must have got wind of it or something. Because all of a sudden, baby girl is back. After being gone for several years after her last book drop, Mama is back, okay? But before we get to Korean Stephens, we have to talk about the, the youngins that have come after her. Because y'all know she the OG, the original video vixen. You know what I'm saying? Confessions of a Video Vixen was her New York Times bestselling novel. And we've had several of the girls to follow in her footsteps. And we're going to talk about some of those girls before we get to the latest news on Corinne's Steffens. If you are new to this channel, hello, happy Saturday. It's your girl Keisha, aka Color Me Pink. And I am here with a new Spill the Tea video. Before we get into it, you guys, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. It's simple. Just click that subscribe button. It's free. It's not costing you anything. Make sure you turn on your post notifications so you know when my videos drop. And also hit that thumbs up button for your girl. Please do so. It helps me out tremendously, okay? First, let's get off into Ruby Rose. Now, is she a video vixen? Some would say she is, and she's a rapper. She's an Instagram girl, you know what I'm saying? But it seems for me, uh, she's one of the girls that's all about body and face, you know what I'm saying? Her talents mm, ain't really been put as the, the the main focus of her career per se. Beautiful girl, beautiful girl, great body. She's not really a fashion girl. Like I said, it's more so about her aesthetic, her body pretty much. But mama got a new boo thing. Y'all know she used to be booed up with DDG, but they've been split. But now she is dating a funny guy. She has gone completely to the left, to the left, okay? She said... No more pretty boys. I'm going to do something totally different with my next guy. So, allegedly, not even allegedly, this is what they saying, child. This is what she's saying and her new boo is saying, okay? So, apparently, she is dating Drewski. Yes, Drewski, the comedian. They've been posted up together, posting each other Saying they're together. She say that's her man, honey, and all of that. I didn't see this one coming. I didn't see this one coming at all. I would have never suspected these two would get together. But you know, girls always fall for the funny guy. I would love to have a funny guy, somebody that's going to keep me laughing, somebody I can joke and play with all the time because y'all know I'm ignorant. So I I need to have somebody that, that is just as ignorant as me. And Drewski's not ugly to me, not ugly at all. You know, he a little chubby dude. He got paper. He's very talented. You know what I'm saying? He's driven. You know what I'm saying? He out here doing the dang on thing. I just never saw these two getting together. I want to know the story. How did this happen? You know what I'm saying? And it's good to see her doing something different. I don't know much about this young lady at all. I just know like she leads with Schmecks a lot. Um, which is, I guess, child. Um, but yeah, I was shocked by this. But they are claiming each other. And they have been posting each other, honey, here recently. So we going to see how this plays out because this was not on my bingo card <laughs> at all was not at all so hmm, okay i guess <laughs> next up we need to discuss one more chance, reality star and winner, Yasmin Lopez. She is back in the news, you guys, but it is not for anything positive. This is truly sad. It's pathetic and it's very disheartening. Uh, now, this girl is an industry girl. She takes cute photos. 
she's a vixen herself. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if she's been in any music videos or anything. I wouldn't be surprised, but she an industry girl. And by industry girl, you know what I mean? Industry girl. Okay, that's literally what she's been labeled as. I've known of her messing with several singers, rappers, whatever. But she had a baby with NBA um, player Christian Woods. Never heard of him. Don't know who this young man is. But they have a baby together. The baby, I don't even know if he's even one years old or not. But... Blue Mama has lost custody of her baby. Yes, she has lost custody of her son. So according to Radar uh, Online, the story reads, NBA star Christian Woods' ex-girlfriend Yasmin Lopez stepped out to watch the Los Angeles Clippers take on the Dallas Mavericks after a development in the former couple's court battle. Radar Online told you first that Woods was awarded sole legal and physical custody of their child after testifying this week at a hearing for which she was a no show. She was a no show in a custody battle regarding her child. Let that sink in real quick. A mess, trifling 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 okay you can make sure that you at a basketball game but you couldn't show up for your baby huh okay uh the story continues the responding party was given notice and an opportunity to be heard as provided by the laws of the state of california according to the order from april 30th there are no calls check-ins or appearances by or on behalf of the respondent it was noted that she had been properly served with the papers and the hearing may proceed forward lopez took to her Instagram stories to document her fun night out with a pal on Wednesday, sharing clips of them watching the basketball game. The Mavericks won 123 to 93. Christian Woods, a Los Angeles Lakers power forward, previously asked the court to award him primary physical custody of their son, but agreed to share joint legal custody. The court had granted Wood a temporary restraining order against his ex following his complaint about her damaging his property, citing two alleged incidents. Wood, joined by his legal team, presented evidence to support his claim about Lopez during the hearing in L.A. Superior Court. Due to Lopez not opposing Wood's petition, petition, the court granted his request for an extended restraining order and sole custody. As RadarOnline.com reported, the Lakers star was granted a temporary restraining order against Lopez in March. He alleged in court documents that she showed up at his L.A. home and was seen on the premises on February 23rd, 2024 with a group of her friends. So you can uh, you can go to basketball games. You go to this man house messing up his property, being a bird, but you couldn't show up to court to fight for your son. I'm happy that he got primary custody. He accused Lopez of climbing his fence and gaining access to his Mercedes Benz, allegedly making deep scratches all over. <laughs> wow. With Lopez failing to make an appearance for the hearing, this resulted in Woods getting exclusive custody of their son, which also includes a permanent restraining order that would last until 2027. Wow. After the decision from the court was made, Lopez made a posted a photo of herself. <laughs> now, this is the kicker, y'all. This is the kicker right here. After the decision from the court was made, Lopez posted a photo of herself jumping off a yacht. This image was promptly posted on her Instagram account immediately after the court ruling. And as you can see, she posted all summer, meaning she about to be outside all summer having a ball. Lopez has not addressed her current situation with the court and the custody of her child. 
Lopez being both a social media influencer and model naturally garner significant attention from followers in response to the considerable influx of people reaching out to her via direct message. She issued a cautionary message. My son's going to be beating y'all up when they get older. Lopez wrote on the caption. What? Is she high? Is she okay? What? You might not even know your son with the way you going, girl. What? Aside from her son with Christian Wood, she also shares a two-year-old son named Chosen Alexander with Dallas Cowboys cornerback, quarterback, cornerback, Trevin, Trevon Diggs. Oh, I didn't know she had two kids because she just had that. Okay, because I remember season two of One More Chance, she was pregnant. So she done had another baby. So she didn't went from the NFL to the NBA. What's next? NHS? <laughs> is that a team? Is that hockey? Girl, what is going on? Much like her relationship with Wood, Lopez doesn't have the best relationship with Diggs. With Lopez describing the NFL star as a deadbeat dad. Oh, you ain't no better, girl. You a deadbeat brother. According to her, the athlete has only seen his son twice in one year for 30 minutes each time. He does absolutely nothing for my son. My child is about to be one and he has only seen his father twice for less than 30 minutes. At the end of the day, it, is, it isn't even about money, Lopez said. Aside from father and chosen, Diggs has a son named Aiden from a previous relationship. Yeah, little mama trifling for that. I cannot believe that this girl didn't even show up to court to fight for custody of her son. She want to be out here in the streets instead of being a mom. So at this point, any of y'all men that lay down with her and have unprotected sex with her, you know what you getting at this point. You know what type of broad she is at this point. So don't cry poor as me when she come up pregnant again. Because it seemed to me like she going around to eat sports sector collecting baby daddies like they infinity stones gross 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 i went on her page today and she has her page blocked now i mean she has her page on private now i guess because people probably was dragging her for filth but yeah as you can see her page is private right now Girl, your whole life need to be private after this mess. Ew. Girl, bye. And lastly, let's get to the OG video, Vixen. The OG. I didn't mess with athletes, rappers, singers, movie stars, correspondents, hosts, politicians, aliens, Goats. <laughs> Let me stop. Corinne Steffens is back, baby. She posted this to her Instagram page. She no longer goes by Corinne Steffens. She goes by Elizabeth Overseen. She says that's her real name. I don't believe it. You know. Okay. But she posted this. And it teases a 20th anniversary edition of her controversial book, Confessions of a Video Vixen, which will include added never before heard stories. Now, y'all know I've been talking about Corinne here lately on my channel and y'all loved it. So when the 20th anniversary book comes out, you know I'm going to cop it and we got to discuss the new material, okay? Because baby girl ain't stopped since she dropped this book. She's still been out here getting it in. Last I heard about Corinne was, what, two years ago when she alleged that she was pregnant by one of the Top Chef contestants that was actually used to be engaged to Maya Allen on Summer House, the original Summer House. Mm-hmm. That was the last I heard of her. Now, obviously, we ain't seen no baby, so I don't know what happened with that. But, yeah, Korean's still out here in these streets. So, girl, mama said, let me come back and show you half us how to do it, all right? 
because I've been making money for the last almost 20 years off this one book and then my other books as well. But this one's still out here doing a dang old thing. And obviously she's living very well. She's living nicely. Beautiful home. Beautiful home. Wow. We gonna copy and we gonna do a book club on this one when it comes out, okay? Y'all let me know down below in the comment section what y'all think about all this tea I have spilled on this beautiful Saturday morning. Let's talk about it, y'all. Please, once again, make sure to thumbs up this video, subscribe, and turn on your post notifications. And if you have not subscribed to my Patreon, the link is down below in the description box. Right now, over there with the $5 tier, you're getting uncut, raw, uncensored, ad-free reviews on... Real Housewives of New Jersey, Summer House Martha's Vineyard, and Love and Marriage Huntsville, new season which begins tonight, yes. And for my $10 tier, you're getting all of those reviews plus reaction videos, okay? So right now we're doing watch-alongs for season one of Being Bobby Brown. We're watching Scrappy and Chaotic's YouTube channel videos. I'm giving you trailer reactions to all of your favorite movies, music video reactions, and we're about to start Barnes Bunch or another show called Billy the Kid. It's a drama series. So if y'all want to kick it with your girl and not be restrained, come on over there to death row. <laughs> come on over to Patreon. Once again, the link is down below in the description box. I love you guys and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.